They're off. Ideal the deck gets away well and is going to take them into the Allegheny turn in front. Hillbilly Payson Hill and Lucas Myers are stalking and now take the lead. On the far outside is going to be Lucky Streak. And here's Lucky Streak up to take the second position and challenge Hillbilly Payson Hill for the front. Ideal the deck is back into the third position. Caviar Aiden racing in fourth. Rocket Party is in the fifth position and Mickey is all in. Can see them all. So it's going to be Hillbilly Payson Hill in front through an opening quarter mile of 28 and 1. Lucky Streak is second as they make their way into the Blue Ridge turn. Caviar Aiden is in third. Ideal the deck is back into the fourth position. Lucky Streak is racing in fifth, and Mickey is all in, is at the tail of the field. So pretty much unchanged as they come into the stretch with just over a lap to go. And Hillbilly Payson Hill and Lucas Myers will set the tempo. Lucky Streak is now up into the second position. The half mile is on the board in 58 and 1. Then it's Caviar Aiden up into third. Ideal the deck is back into fourth. Rocket Party is in fifth. And Mickey is all in is the trailer. Here's Caviar Aiden up on the outside under Chuck Perry to now take the second position. And Hillbilly Payson Hill's lead is now down to about a neck as they make their way onto the back stretch. Caviar Aiden is in second. Then it's Lucky Streak in third. Back into the fourth position is Rocket Party, who has taken fourth from Ideal the deck. And Mickey is all in trails through three quarters in 126 and three. Around the far turn, it's Hillbilly Payson Hill. Has to hold off Caviar Aiden. It's a three-horse race between those two and Lucky Streak. Farther back is Ideal the deck. Mickey is all in, is up into fifth. And as they come to the top of the stretch, going off stride there was Caviar Aiden. Caviar Aiden goes off stride, and Hillbilly Payson Hill is going to win it under Lucas Myers. Then came Lucky Streak, Caviar Aiden, Rocket Party, Mickey is all in. Going off stride at the dispatch was Rocky Bomber. Rocky Bomber is off stride as they make their way into the Allegheny turn. And right to the front is Billy Carter and Gregory's Princess. And now Gregory's Princess has gone off stride. Gregory's Princess is off stride and taking the lead is Hope Star as they make their way onto the backstretch. Racing in second, and Gerald's a keeper, has gone off stride. Hey Toodles is in the second position, now up to take third. Is She's the boss V, and ooh, Billy Carter took a bad stumble there. Gregory's Princess unseats Billy Carter through an opening quarter mile of 31 and three. It's Hope Star in front as they make their way past the Comfort Inn, and it looks like we had Another spill there, Dr. Scott Wugan has been unseated from KJ Angel. Both drivers are on their feet as they make their way into the stretch with just over a lap to go. So it's Hope Star in front. Coming up to take second now is Gerald to keeper. Half mile on the board, 104 and four. Hey Toodles finished second. She's the boss to V is in fourth. Racing in the fifth position is Gerald's a keeper. Rather, Rocky Bomber is in fifth. Racing in the sixth position is going to be KJ Alltrot. So they make their way onto the back stretch. Looks like Gregory's Princess is out of the way of the rest of the field. Hope Star is going to take them through three quarters, one minute 35 and three. Gerald's a keeper is in the second position. Hey Toodles is in third. Rocky Bomber is in fourth. She's the boss TV is in the fifth position and at the tail of the field is KJ Alltrot. But they come into the top of the stretch. Gerald to keeper and Hope Star are duking it out. Hope Star on the inside, Gerald to keeper on the outside and Corey Braden is going to take Gerald to keeper right on by. 205 flat. And they're off and pacing. There goes Bubba and Leroy skipping school. Get away the best as they make their way into the Allegheny turn. So it's Leroy skipping school and Tyler Sheehan to take the front. Dragonlicious is up into the second position. Then it's Rock of Angels in third. Get Cash Ready is in fourth. Despicto Lou is in the fifth position, followed in sixth by Hillbilly Night Shift. There goes Bubba, steadies back in the second position. At the tail of the field is Make Mine Malibu. The opening quarter is on the board in 29 and one. So Leroy Skippin' School is in front by a length and a half from Dragonlicious in the second position. Rock of Angels is in third. Get Cash Ready is in the fourth position. 
Despicto Lou is up in the fifth. Hillbilly Night Shift is in sixth. There goes Bubba is seventh. Make Mine Malibu is the trailer as they come into the stretch single file with just over a lap to go. And Leroy skipping school shows them the way through a half mile, 59 and one. Dragonlicious is in the second position. Rock of Angels is in third. Then it's Get Cash Ready, who is in fourth. Despicto Lou continues to stay in the fifth position, followed by Hillbilly Night Shift in sixth. There goes Bubba is in seventh, and at the tail of the field is Make Mine Malibu. Down the back stretch they go. Leroy Skip and School is in front and begins to open up from Dragonlicious, who is in the second position. Rock of Angels is in third through 128 and two for three quarters of a mile. They pass the comfort in. It's Get Cash Ready, who is in fourth. There goes Bubba up on the outside to take fifth and challenge for the fourth position as they're midway around the turn. It's all Leroy skipping school in front. Been that way since the dispatch. They're into the stretch, and it's Leroy skipping school. Just ha hop, skip, and jump away from a win. Dragonlicious was second, then came Rock of Angels. Tight for fourth between There Goes Bubba and Get Cash Ready. Then came to And they're off. Corey Braden and Mickey get away well, but coming up on the inside to challenge is going to be Smokey's Passion. And Smokey's Passion will take them around the Allegheny turn in front. Back into the second position is Mickey. Racing in third is Amazing Ponderosa. They're followed in the fourth position by R and Nate. Lindy the 14th is racing in fifth. Pacific Stride is in sixth. Lou on the beach is in the back of the pack. Mickey takes them through an opening quarter mile of 27 and two. Smokey's Passion is second, then it's Amazing Ponderosa in third. R and Nate is in fourth. Up into the fifth position is Lindy the 14th. Racing in sixth position is Pacific Stride, and at the tail of the field is Lou on the beach. So pretty much unchanged as they come into the stretch, past the stands and the fans with just over a lap to go. And Mickey takes them through the half mile of 56 and one. Smokey's Passion has been in a good stalking second throughout. Amazing Ponderosa back into the third position. R and shifts to the outside, but is in fourth. Lindy the 14th on the inside in fifth, far outside in the sixth position is Pacific Stride, and Lou on the beach has trailed throughout as they make their way onto the back stretch for the final time this race. Mickey in front by about two from Smokey's Passion in the second position. Amazing Ponderosa is in third, three quarters on the board in 125 and one. They pass the comfort in. Pacific Stride is now up into the fourth position and is looking to take sole possession of third. Mickey to catch. And Mickey is kicking away from Smokey's Passion, who is in the second position. And going off stride midway around the turn was Lindy the 14th. But as they come to the top of the stretch, it's all Mickey in front. And Mickey is going to give Corey Braden a driving double on the afternoon. Smokey's Passion was second, Pacific Stride was third, then came Amazing Ponderosa, R and Nate, Lou on the beach, and Lindy the 14th. They're off. It's Hulu going to the front. Co Terry Island is right there too, but in the middle, it's going to be Billy Carter and Caviar Stoney to go to the front. Caviar Stoney is in front from Hulu in the second position. Racing in third is Co Terry Island. KJ Hunting is now in the third position. Up to take fifth is Do You Think. Racing in the sixth position is Freddie Faves, and at the tail of the field is Flying Marvin. The opening quarter on the board in 26 and 4. Hulu now puts ahead in front and is duking it out with Caviar Stoney, who reclaims command. Caviar Stoney and Hulu, the top two midway around the Blue Ridge turn. Co Terry Island is in third. KJ Hunting is in fourth. Do You Think is in the fifth position, followed in sixth by Freddie Faves. And Flying Marvin can see them all. So Caviar Stoney takes him past the stands with a circuit to go. The half mile was on the board in 55 and three. Hulu is in second. Co Terry Isle N is in third. KJ Hunting is in fourth. Then it's Do You Think racing in the fifth position. They're followed in sixth by Freddie Faves, and at the tail of the field is Kubi Erzine and Flying Marvin. Pretty much unchanged as they make their way onto the back stretch for the final time this race. Now up to take third and challenge for the lead. Do you think? 
It's Caviar Stoney in front from Hulu. Do you think up into third? Three quarters on the board. One minute, 26 seconds flat. They pass the comfort in, and it's a Carter Exacta. Caviar Stoney and Billy in front. Do you think and William race in the second position? Hulu is in third. Coteri Yael N is in fourth, and now up to take fifth is Freddie Faves, but they're into the stretch, and it's Caviar Stoney in front. Hulu is trying to come up on the inside. Late charge from Do You Think, but it's Caviar Stoney and Billy Carter to win it. It's going to be a Carter Exacta. Do You Think was second, then came Hulu, Coteri Island, Freddie Faves. The Raw, Shane Adam and Fern Paquette get away well, but Volleyball Beach is coming up to challenge. So it's going to be Shane Adam into the Allegheny turn in front. Volleyball Beach races in the second position, then it's Mystical View in third. Moment to Shine races in the fourth position. Sam's Triple Chrome is in fifth. Then it's Awesome Times 2 racing in the sixth position. Never Easy Z Tam at the tail of the field. So it's Volleyball Beach and Cole Olson who now take the lead and put the opening quarter up on the board in 27 and 2. Shane Adam races in the second position. Mystical View is in third. Moment to Shine is in fourth. Sam's Triple Crown racing in the fifth position. Awesome Times 2 is sixth. And Never Easy Z Tam can see them all. So it's Volleyball Beach to take them into the stretch, nearly single file, with just over a lap to go in front. Shane Adams stalks in the second position. Mystical View is in third. Moment to Shine is in the fourth position. Sam's Triple Crown is fifth through a 57 flat half mile. Then it's Awesome Times 2 in the sixth position. Never Easy Z Tam is seventh and last. Has been that way throughout, midway through the Allegheny turn for the final time this race. Volleyball Beach is in front by four. Shane Adam is in second. Mystical View is in third. Moment to Shine is in fourth. Then it's Awesome Times 2 up into the fifth position. Racing in six now is Never Easy Z Tam. And Sam's Triple Crowns can see them all through 125 and 1 for three quarters. Past the comfort in they go. And it's Volleyball Beach trying to hold off Shane Adam. Archie Buford and Mystical View are beginning to make a move as they make their way to the top of the stretch, and Moment to Shine is in fourth. They're into the stretch, and it's Volleyball Beach in front. Here comes Mystical View with one final lunge. Shane Adam is right there, too. Volleyball Beach and Cole Olsen will win it. Tight for second between Shane Adam and Mystical View. Then came Moment to Shine, Awesome Times 2, Never Easy Z Tam, and Sam's Triple Crown. And there they go. It's Urban Kemp and Tyler Sheehan away well, but coming up to challenge is Seminole Moon. Seminole Moon will take them into the Allegheny turn in front and going off stride there is KJ Devil. KJ Devil has gone off stride as they make their way onto the backstretch. It's Touch of Twang racing in the second position. Zet Express now in fourth. Up to take third is Urban Kemp. And at the tail of the field is Joan Deere, but there's a sweeping move from Tyler Sheehan and Urban Kemp to retake the front from Seminole Moon. The opening quarter is on the board in 30 and two. Touch of Twang back into the second position. Rather third. It's Zet Express racing in fourth. Then it's Joan Deere in fifth. And far out of it at the tail of the field is going to be KJ Devil as they make their way into the stretch with just over a lap to go. And it's Urban Kemp. And Tyler Sheehan, the lead is two and a half. Seminole Moon is in second. Another two back to Zed Express. To Touch of Twang, five back to Zed Express. Length and a half back to Joan Deere and double digits back to KJ Devil through a one minute, four fifths of a second half mile into the Allegheny turn they go. Urban Kemp is in front from Seminole Moon. Touch of Twang races in second. Zed Express is in third. Joan Deere is in fourth. And KJ Devil can see them all. So it is Urban Kemp and Tyler Sheehan in front by three as they're on the back stretch for the final time this race. Seminole Moon in a stalking second through three quarters, 131 and one. Touch of Twang is third as they pass the comfort in. Zed Express is in fourth, and Joan Deere races in fifth. Outrider has KJ Devil, who is out of the race as they make their way to the top of the home stretch, and Urban Kemp. And they're off and racing in the eighth. Up for the front is going to be right here, right now, as they make their way into the Allegheny turn. Racing in the second position is going to be Benevolence. They're followed by Lenda Handman in third. 
Then it's Katana racing in fourth. Tipperary Hill is in the fifth position. Anteus is in sixth and intrigued again. Can see them all right here, right now. Is in front, right here, right now. And we'll take them through an opening quarter mile of 27 and four. Benevolence is in the second position as they pass the comfort in. Linda Handman is in third. Katana is racing in fourth. Tipperary Hill is in the fifth position. Anteus is in sixth and the trailer Intrigued again. Billy Carter and Benevolence are trying to put a head in front on right here, right now, as they come into the stretch with just over a lap to go. And Benevolence is going to get the narrow advantage through a half mile in 56 and 2. They're stride for stride with right here, right now. Linda Handman is in third. Katana is in fourth. Tipperary Hill is on the inside in the fourth, po fifth position. Now back into sixth. And Anteus is up into fifth. The trailer is intrigued again as they make their way onto the back stretch for the final time this race. And here's Anteus with a move on the outside. Anteus coming up to challenge and now take the second spot. And he is going after right here, right now, three quarters, 126 flat. And Lenda Man is coming back to take second as they make their way around the far turn. Tipperary Hill is in the fourth position. And then it's Katana, Benevolence, and intrigued again. They make their way to the top of the stretch right here, right now, is kicking away from Linda Hand Man. Up to take third is going to be Anteus, but right here, right now, is going to win it. Right here, right now. Then came Linda Hand Man, Anteus, Tipperary Hill, Katana, intrigued again, and Benevolence won. The raw fan to pacing right to the front is Hillbilly Fairy Tale. And Hoosier Shark is coming up on the inside to challenge. Now up into the second position as they're midway around the Allegheny turn. Money or Roses is racing in the third position. Elocutionist is in fourth. They're followed in fifth by Ginger Tree, Ginger Tree Finney. And at the tail of the field is Crystal Beach. So they make their way onto the backstretch through an opening quarter mile of 27 and 3. It's Hillbilly Fairy Tale. And Lucas Myers in front by two over Hoosier Shark in the second position. Money or Roses is in third. They're followed in fourth by elocutionist Ginger Tree Finney is in fifth. And Crystal Beach can see them all. So pretty much unchanged as they make their way single file past the stands. And the fans with one circuit to go in Hillbilly Fairy Tale is showing them the way through a half mile. 56 and 3. Hoosier Shark is racing in the second position. Money or Roses is in third. Ginger Tree Finney is now up into the fourth position. Then it's Crystal Beach racing in fifth. And at the tail of the field is Elocutionist. Down the back stretch they go. It's Hillbilly Fairy Tale, the even money favorite, in front from Hoosier Shark in the second position. Now up to take third is Ginger Tree Finney. And Ginger Tree Finney is now going to go into second as they pass through three quarters, one minute 25 and four fifths of a second. They make their way into the Allegheny turn for the final time this race. Hillbilly Fairy Tale has to hold off Ginger Tree Finney. Corey Braden is looking for a hat trick on the afternoon. And Crystal Beach is now up into the third position as they come to the top of the stretch. It's Hillbilly Fairy Tale in front. Ginger Tree Finney's second best. Here comes Crystal Beach with one final lunge. But Lucas Myers and Hillbilly Fairy Tale, wire to wire. Then came Ginger Tree Finney, Crystal Beach. Then Money or Rose. The Roth even dispatch for them all. And Windermere Frank gets away well as they make their way into the Allegheny turn. But coming up for the lead now is Cheyenne Ryan Lee, who gives that up to Grant 23. And Cheyenne Ryan Lee is fighting right on back as they make their way onto the back stretch. Into the third position now is Western Flames. Windermere Frank taken back into the fourth position. Up into fifth is Freak on a Leash. Captain Malicious is sixth. At the tail of the field is Cole on the beach. So Cheyenne Ryan Lee and Archie Buford took them through an opening quarter mile of 27 and three. Into the Blue Ridge turn they go, and Grant 23 is in the second position. Captain Malicious, who was at the back of the pack as they made their way onto the back stretch, is now up into third. Western Flames is in the fourth position. Cole on the Beach is in fifth. Windermere Frank is in sixth. And at the tail of the field is Freak on a Leash. Past the stands and fans with just over a lap to go, and Cheyenne Ryan Lee takes them through a half mile of 57 and one.
Captain Malicious is in second. Then it's Grant 23 in third as they make their way into the Allegheny Turn. Cole on the Beach is up into fourth. Western Flames is in fifth. Racing in sixth is Freak on a Leash. And at the tail of the field is Windermere Frank. So they make their way onto the back stretch with Cheyenne Ryan Lee in front by a neck. Captain Malicious is challenging on the outside in second. On the inside third, Grand 23 through an even one minute, 27 second flat, three quarters, past the comfort in they go. Cheyenne, Ryan Lee, and Captain Malicious, the top two. But here comes Grand 23, and Grand 23 is now up into the second position and is trying to catch Cheyenne, Ryan, Lee. And they're into the stretch. Cheyenne Ryan Lee in front. Coming up on the inside now is Grand 23, but Cheyenne Ryan Lee and Archie Buford are going to draw away and win. Grand 23 was second, and then came Windermere Frank in 156. And They're off. Shady's finale gets away well, but coming up on the inside is going to be Rock Rules, and Rock Rules is going to take the front under Roger Hammer. Shady's finale is up into the second position. Racing in third is Whitley. Now back into fourth is going to be etc. etc. is in fourth. Back into the fifth position, we have Swordsman. Or rather, I'm Roddy the Bagman. Swordsman is in sixth, racing in seventh. Is gibberish and opals on fire? Can see them all. The opening quarter on the board in 28 and 3. William Carter and Shady's Finale reclaim the lead from Rock Rules, who is back into the second position. Etc. is in third. Now up to take fourth is Swordsman. Whitley is in fifth. I'm Roddy the Bagman is in sixth. Then it's gibberish in seventh. And at the tail of the field is opals on fire. And there goes Rock Rules back to the front from Shady's Finale. Half on the board. 58 and 3. Etc. is in third. Swordsman is on the far outside in fourth. Then it's Whitley in fifth in the two path. Racing in the sixth position is going to be I'm Roddy the Bagman. Gibberish is in seventh. Opals on fire continues to trail. They make their way onto the back stretch and Etc. is coming up to challenge Rock Rules for the top position. Shady's finale back into fourth. Here's Swordsman in third. Three of them across the track through three quarters. 128 and 2. Pass the comfort and they go. It's etc. And Zan Kaiser in front as they make their way around the far turn. And here is Swordsman. Swordsman is up into the second position. Then it's Whitley in third. Back into fourth is I'm Roddy the Bagman. They come to the top of the stretch. Etc. And Zan Kaiser reaching for the wire. Tyler Sheehan and Swordsman coming up with one final lunge. But as they come inside the final strides, it's all Swordsman and Tyler Sheehan for a driving double. Etc. Game second, tight for third between Whitley and Opals on fire, 158 and 1.